My name is Steve Shearing. I own the Amsoil Snowcross race team. We've taken the Amsoil products to the extremes and they've delivered every single time. Last race of the season at Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, one of our drivers was out in front, got rear-ended, broke the heat exchanger, we lost all our coolant the second lap of the 15 lap main event. Our driver was able to finish a race in a top five position with the motor still running. The good thing about the Amsoil products, it, it's so constant. You know, we have the exact same performance results time after time after time. For more than a decade, we've been winners with Amsoil. Welcome back to SLEDHEAD 24-7, I'm Misha Johnson. This edition of the SLEDHEAD Roadshow, we are taking you to the most popular power sports dealerships across North America. Right now, we're at Bristow's in St. Cloud, Minnesota, where you can do just about anything you want. Shop for new sled, shop for new apparel. But one of the coolest things about snowmobiling is trail riding to a new destination, meeting new people, new trails, seeing different parts of the country. It's one part journey, one part adventure, but nothing short of a complete blast. Take a look at this. Taking a ride into the great wide open. Destinations rides are like cruising into a winter painting and becoming part of the art. A sled takes you places you could never access in the summer, over bogs, frozen lakes, and deep into the backlands. There's always time to pull over to the side of the trail and take in the glory of nature. Today on Sledhead, we're on a giant adventure at Giants Ridge in northern Minnesota in a region known as the Iron Range. Today, this land is mined for another item, great trail riding with hundreds of miles of trails to explore. It's the old abandoned mines up here. Uh, there's a lot of pines, uh, there's a lot of rugged country, there's a lot of you know iron ore, obviously, and uh, it's just a beautiful setting. The snowmobile trails, there's thousands of miles that lead right out of the lodge. You can do loops and come back in. You can ride over to Duluth if you want. You can go basically all over. They are state-run trails, so they do groom them a couple times a week, so everything's kept in great condition. Our ride took us to the cozy and cute town of Bawavik, which is Ojibwe for iron. Downtown looks like an alpine village. And it's our kind of town. Sleds are welcome on Main Street. And where else can you find a bar in sauna all in one? Looking for a woodsy lodge? There are plenty for a weary rider to bunk out in after a day on the trail. Including some that look like Paul Bunyan chopped a log or two. The snowmobiling is world class here, and so is the skiing. Indeed, Giants Ridge is an Olympic training center for Nordic skiing. Giants Ridge was designed as a world site for uh, Olympic tryouts and world, world events, national level events. Back in 1984, the trails were designed by a fellow that uh, was involved with the 1988 Olympic Games. So the trails are difficult. Hi. Up in the hill, the skiers are not shy about getting big air and bigger air, the kind of antics akin to the Monster Energy Slednecks Invasion Tour. Old Paul Thacker would be proud. Meanwhile, back on the trails, we found a woodsy place to take a break. The North Woods of Minnesota are the ultimate way to get away and enjoy the solitude of winter. The quietness out in the woods, the pretty trees and everything, and you know, stopping along the side of the trail and stuff, and at the wayside rest and different areas like that, and meeting different people on the trail. Over 2,200 miles of trails all through the state. You can drive to International Falls, Grand Rapids, uh, Duluth, Pequon Lakes, you can go all over the place. And when the sun goes down, the trails lead to a one-of-a-kind night spot that feels like the islands of the Caribbean. Welcome to the Whistling Bird. Owner Tony Curtis moved to Minnesota from Jamaica, married a local gal. He mixed a blend of jerk sauces and Minnesota-style cooking and found the perfect way to warm your belly after a day on the trails. The jerk sauce is the main Jamaican item. It's come with your chicken, the pork, the shrimp, and also the mai mai, which is the fish. In the morning, we hit the trails for more fun and adventure. That's the charm of a destination ride, exploring new regions and meeting people and the local culture. And it all comes courtesy of the seat of a snowmobile. 
Most of us snowmobile enthusiasts know that while snowmobiling, we get to witness the most incredible scenery. And because of this, I would love for you to send me pictures or stories of your favorite ride. Log on to sledded24-7.com and we'll have a link that you can follow. Mark my words, I'll be waiting for those pictures. We'll be right back.